Let's talk about being decisive or indecisive. All right. So if you can't make up your mind what you want to experience, a.k.a. you're unable to make choices easily, this is what's going to be one of the most important things for you to realize is going on in your life. Because anytime that you think something is left up to chance or if you're leaving it uh, just hoping that something is going to happen, it's actually putting a blockage between you and the life that you desire, right? So let me explain. So if you're trying to get control over your reality, right? If you're the kind of person who watches spirituality videos or maybe practices spirituality or anything like that, you're a creative person, right? So your creativity is supposed to be where you imagine what you want to experience and then it's supposed to play out in this reality. That's basically all there is to do here is just let's see how many different experiences we can have in a given lifetime that align with what our preferences are, what, what our preferences and on, on, not preferences, but also just the things that you know you need like for a spiritual reason because sometimes you have to put yourself through something that you already know is going to have difficulty or it's not going to be so enjoyable at first for your own personal growth and development, right? Okay, so cool. If we want to make sure that we're maturing in the most effective ways possible, we got, we got to recognize when we're getting in our own way. So one of the most powerful ways I realized that a lot of people get in their own way unconsciously without realizing that it's actually doing some damage is by giving their power away in a way in which they might say something like, well, I sure hope so, or they know exactly what they would like to happen, but for whatever reason, they have some type of doubt that's going on in it whether they're saying it out loud or not like it's really important to make sure that you don't have in any kind of internal doubts at all whenever it's something that you know you want to experience because if you really know who you are and where you come from and what you're made of bro really like really there's no doubt if you can experience your desired outcomes okay like seriously Whoever you are, if you're watching this video, you got the ability to get whatever you want out of life. Now, of course, if you're trying to do it in any kind of competitive way or intervene with other people's lives, just know there's cause and effect. And at that point, it would have a lot to do with how powerful you are versus how powerful the other forces that you're trying to uh, manipulate are. But, of course, that can make things pretty interesting at times. So anyways, um, if you're going about life and you really think about how the the universe works as far as how you're able to go into your internal world and then bring it out or reflect it out and in some shape or form get it to play out in this reality so you have to recognize why it's why you're able to do this in such a easy way once you learn how to be decisive it's gonna be much easier whenever you start really getting strict on yourself and you start realizing like dang i'm actually not making up my mind often enough i procrastinate sometimes because be being a procrastinator if you have any sort of any sort of internal self-doubt or anything like that it's actually a clear sign that you're not actually as comfortable being yourself as you need to be. It should, you should be very, very honest with yourself. If you're good at something, acknowledge if you're good at it. If you need to be good at it, acknowledge that. If you want to experience something specific, you need to know what it feels like to experience this. If you don't know what it feels like to experience a certain thing, like if you can't channel that energy, you can't really be surprised if it don't go your way or if it doesn't go how you think you wanted it to. Because I promise you, the whole time in this game, it's just a matter of who really is the most serious about determining what direction their life is going to go in. So as far as your perspective, the only thing you need to be concerned with when it comes to what I'm talking about is what you got going on on your internal world. It, all inside of you and in your mind, you got to recognize if you're traumatized, if you have a certain type of doubts, if for whatever reason you have issues trusting uh, or whatever the case may be like whatever it is, bro You got to be honest with yourself what your weaknesses and strengths are and if you don't manage The issues that you got as far as you being immature Maybe you know you need to be like cleaning more often or you need to It could be something big or small eating better, etc If you don't really recognize that you're getting in your own way by Knowing what you need to be on and you're still not doing it, bro I promise you you cannot be surprised if you don't get what you want out of life if you don't have any discipline in the first place like seriously and then of course this might be the same type of person who also easily makes excuses right instead of trying to recognize and really embrace the fact that anything that you're experiencing 
was because you chose to experience that. If you really, really feel that, let me give you an example of why I think this is such a big deal, right? Because I see people who might do something, they might do it a lot. Like, for example, go to their job. You might say stuff like, I don't even want to go to work today. But then you end up putting on your uniform or, you know, whatever it is, dressing out, packing your lunch, and you go there anyway. So obviously, you actually did want to experience that. You said, I don't want to go. But then you go. Wait, obviously, what you wanted to experience was you going to work because the whole time you got options. And, of course, you can give yourself any excuse in the world, right? Like the, the doubtful things like, oh, well, I got bills to pay. But everybody got bills to pay. But if you're making it difficult for yourself to enjoy the life that you're living, don't be surprised if it's hard to pay those bills at some points or often or if it's hard to remain happy and joyful and grateful whenever you are potentially paying the bills because the source of which you're getting the money from is like super super significant to how you feel about the money and if you live in your life in a way in which you're telling yourself one thing but your actions not lining up with that just know that your outer your external world is going to give you the real truth about that how you feel about yourself is going to be very evident in the life that you live and what you're witnessing. If you realize you attract a lot of messed up situations, don't be surprised that the cause is your internal world. OK, <laughs> you got to actually be at peace within yourself to get what you need out of life. If, if you really experience a lot of positive things and people are always congratulating you for something or you're getting stuff for free a lot or anything like that like bro the reason why is because your internal world is aligned properly it's supposed to be easy for you to get what you want if you find yourself always getting situations to favor you somehow you maybe you maybe win competitions sometimes and stuff like that you can get that stuff every time if you decided that this is what i want to experience so for example that's what a lot of people might think that they're doing when they do something like play the lottery, right? They'll buy a ticket and then they'll be like, hey, I want to win this jackpot, right? Okay, so the truth is you wanted to buy a lottery ticket. You didn't necessarily buy that ticket because you really want to win. Because here's the thing. If you really wanted to win, you would win. <laughs> if that's what you truly wanted to experience within yourself, within your soul, your higher self and all of that, if that's really the experience you want to have, you're going to have that. If you didn't, just know the type of mental blockage that slowed it down or stopped it. Now, of course, there can be things that could happen and it take way longer than you would expect it to. But you can't ever doubt if you already made up your mind, this is what I'm going to get. Like if you say, I'm going to buy this item, I'm going to get this uh, kind of computer, if I'm going to have access to this type of subscription or whatever it is, bro, when you make up your mind, it don't matter what it looks like on your external world right now. If you're lacking it, that means nothing, bro. All that, no, all that you have to do at that point is just go, okay, cool. Now I'm waiting for when that presents itself because I'm already aware that there is nothing that I choose to experience that I don't experience. And you got to also think about this on a multidimensional standpoint, right? There is a version of you who had a split decisions at times, right? And you'd be like, man, do I do this one or this one? Ah! And you pick one, right? Or maybe you have four options or a lot more. So anytime that you're choosing this, just realize that there is no universe in which you didn't experience what you really were curious to experience. So don't ever feel like you're missing out on something um, whenever you're making these choices and stuff. Because being decisive is what needs to be done. Because otherwise, it's kind of like you're getting a default um, answer or response or experience out of the world. So think about life like a drive through right? If you're ordering food, you pull up to the drive through you at the speaker, you know everything that's on the menu is right there. You know you can have whatever you can imagine. All you have to do is decide what it is on that menu that you want to experience. They can't give you just any old thing. If you look at that menu, you sitting at a drive through and you can't make up your mind, you, you're not going to actually get to the next phase of actually experiencing what you want to experience. You have to tell them what you want. So it's the same thing. The universe is basically a restaurant, and this is inside your own self. And all you have to do is decide what direction you actually want to go in, what you want to experience. But a lot of the time, people, people act like they are powerless in what ends up happening in their lives. So try to make sure you think in a way in which you take control of life and not necessarily that life is just happening to you. 
Because if people say stuff like, oh, I'm sick, uh, I got this disease, is is hereditary, they blame it on their genes, right? Or something like that. Bro, realize that the whole time, like I said, if you're experiencing something, it's because you chose that. And if you are only too busy making excuses and not actually blaming yourself for what you experienced, you ain't gonna never get nowhere. You should actually accept full responsibility for your life, 100% responsibility for your life. And that's the only time that you could really say that you grew up. I don't really care how old you are because you're not a true, true adult and you're not really on nothing yet until you are genuinely taking responsibility for whatever happens in your reality. You did what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, hit the like button and subscribe. Hit me with a comment or something. Holler at me.